Megan Johnson not showed up for work that day and her employer was concerned. Maintenance man at her apartment complex had gone over to her apartment to see if she was okay. He was able to open the sliding glass door and he looked inside and he saw her body on the floor. The detectives believe that the person was let in by Megan. The house had been ransacked and that made them feel that maybe somebody was looking for something. Also that maybe she fought her attacker because of the uh, condition of the apartment. So Megan had issues with drugs and alcohol. Uh, she had gotten sober and she was now helping people to become sober as well. In doing that, she was around people who had drug, alcohol histories, so she did hang around people that may have looked to victimize her. They interviewed people, they uh, checked alibis, they used the polygraph, um, and polygraphs aren't foolproof, but they did have the palm print that they had recovered from the scene, and they took palm prints from people, they compared the palm print, and none of those matched. She was just the sweetest, kindest person, just a gentle, soft-spoken. Megan had different circles of friends. I mean, like I said, there were times where, you know, she nannied for people. There were times where she couch surfed. She had her childhood, her school friends, people that she met at work. She had the people that were involved in the N.A. To even think that somebody that knew her could have done something like this to her is just, you know, mind-blowing to me. I don't believe that we would be sitting here talking today if Megan didn't have the people that were advocating for her. Mm -hmm. And I, I plan to continue that. Sometimes when you use those samples, depending on the size of the sample, you use it all up. And if you used it all up, testing it with a method that wasn't going to yield the results we were looking for, and we didn't want to do it at that time. We believe that now we might be able to take some of this biological evidence and take it to a lab with the most advanced technology we can find and hopefully they might be able to find some DNA. Any information somebody has we want to hear. We're not necessarily looking for somebody who lived in the area who saw something. We're looking for the person who this suspect may have said something to and at the time they didn't think anything of it and now that they hear about this case they think oh well you know that kind of matches up with what this person told me and maybe they're the suspect. Anything like that, we want to know about. The ultimate goal is we want to find the person who did this to Megan John and we want to bring that person to justice for her and her family.